Hi friends, uh, in this video we are going to be showing you the latest ultra slim laptops by Sony Vio. The model that we are reviewing today is uh, F15212 SNB. This, is, this model is going to remain the same, the looks part of it uh, for the entire F15 series. And uh, let me add uh, what Sony has worked upon uh, this particular model. They have made it slimmer and uh, they have added good uh, subwoofer to it uh, to enhance the audio quality. And uh, that's it. Uh, rest everything else competes with the 3521 of Dell or uh, say G500 of uh, Lenovo. So let me just show you the adapter rating first. This is the adapter that we have 19.5 volt and 3.3 amperes. A very standard looking uh, Sony adapter. So the cable that is coming now is with 3 pin instead of a 2 pin. The battery is a serious downer as you can see it has got a 4 cell lithium ion battery with a very paltry 2670mAh power rating so over here 40 watt hours is the max that you will get under test conditions as Sony says it will give you a backup of around 4 hours but normal condition not more than 2 to 1 half hours let me show you the laptop here this is the top panel this is the way it looks this is the black one that we are reviewing today, it's got the same black matte finish that E series had. As you can see absolutely no difference, it's same uh, slate uh, matte finish. As you can see, the wire logo, metallic engraved wire logo, Sony logo has been painted. Right, let me show you the tilt angles here. This is the tilt angles as you can see maximum of around uh, 145 degrees at the max. That's good for a laptop. Very slim as you can see. Competes very well with the ultra slim category that other companies have to offer. This is the way it looks. As you can see jet black. Let me show it up close. Absolutely matte and very neatly designed. It's got a full size chiclet keyboard, 103 keys to be precise. Let me show you the touchpad here, bio logo over here. The touchpad is a unipad basically, right and left clicks are uh, integrated. It have been a little bigger, it have occupied this space also, but it's good enough. As you can see the size is good enough. Mention about the hinges. It's basically been sandwiched the E15 series if you would uh, see my other video which I have reviewed for E15 series. It's basically a sandwiched version of that. The two stereophonic mics here, assist button for uh, recovery, power button, two indicators, num lock and caps lock over here. We'll check if there are other indicators. The screen quality is uh, very good uh, as with most of the Sony laptops. It's got the LED backlit screen 15.5 inches, Sony ones come with 15.5 inches and uh, 1366 into 768 is the max resolution that you can get on this what about the camera here it's got a 0.92 megapixel camera which will give you a resolution of 1280 into 720p that's pretty good and uh, this part over here is this entire bezel here is having a glossy finish as you can see it's having the glossy finish Let me just show you the way it looks. As you can see, it's very, very slim, slimmer than uh, the other E15 series. Let me get it up close for you. You have the charging adapter here. The heat dissipation vent area is quite huge. Good amount of heat dissipation can happen. Kensington lock is over here. Ethernet port, HDMI, USB 3.0. 
headphone and mic combi so there is no VGA that's pretty sad people who want to connect to projectors you cannot uh, connect to a projector which has got a VGA port only so you need to buy a HDMI to VGA connector the front let me show you these are the speakers over here just one speaker three indicators uh, power battery and hard drive memory card another speaker over here it's a 2.1 speaker system very slim the right two more USB ports DVD writer so there's absolutely no VGA that is serious downer but most of these ultra slim laptops nowadays don't have uh, VGA good neatly designed laptop let me show you the base the base as you can see is uh, pretty neat this is the supposed subwoofer that Sony has been talking about uh, this particular laptop this is where hard drive is this is where RAM is we will be showing you how to upgrade the RAM and hard drive of this laptop in another video so quite tiny rudders as you can see the size of rudder is pretty tiny here it's four rudders as is the case with all laptops but very tiny rudders let me just show you the screen quality and open it up here it is uh, the system booted up the metro interface of uh, windows 8 welcomes you let's jump on the desktop Let us uh, first look at the camera quality. As you can see the camera quality is pretty good. This is for a full screen. Uh, very very good resolution. Alright, coming to the audio now. As you can see, beautiful audio. The subwoofer is making real good amount of noise. And uh, the one thing that I don't like about these ULB processors is the low clock speed. This has got a clock speed of around 1.9 gigahertz. No doubt it'll add to the backup, but uh, still when you would want to you know do multitasking the clock speed does play a major role so this my friends uh, was a review of the latest sony vivo ultra slim laptop the f15 hope you liked our uh, video do let us know of your suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe you can buy this laptop at our website www.techstore.co.in thank you so much